Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today I did not expect to make this type of video. We now welcome back Nathan Jones as our manager. Last night it came out that Luton were in advanced talks to bring back Nathan Jones and at the time I was thinking, nah this can't be happening. Our owners have said bad things about him. They've made it quite clear that they don't want him back. So this can't be happening but it's been announced today that nathan jones is back as luton town manager but guys before i go in deep and tell you guys my thoughts about nathan jones coming back to the club can we smash 70 likes on this video i know you guys have been smashing that like target recently so can we smash 70 likes on this video so am i happy that nathan jones is back at the club now during this pandemic and everything that's happened, you've got to understand that money is a massive problem for us. The reason why Graham Jones is not at the club is because of money. Now, obviously, there could be many reasons behind that, but the club announced that it's money was the reason why Graham Jones left the club. Now, Luton needed to look for a cheap option. That's why Luton announced that Mick Harford would be manager from now to the end of the season. I think we all knew that Mick Harford, he needed some help. He needed someone who knew Luton like he did, who knows the club very well, who knows the players, who knows the fans, understands what the club is all about and who else than Nathan Jones. Now guys, I do understand what Nathan Jones did. Nathan Jones left the club at the most important time in the club's history. He left in January where we had a tough run of fixtures, the stadium, like planning permissions, January transfer window, and I know it was wrong. He should have never left when he did. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand why fans don't like him. They don't trust him. And I understand that. He left to go to Stoke. He left for a lot of money. He left to improve as a manager. He left to go to a bigger club at the time. So I understand why he left, but it was the manner on how he left the club was a little bit disgraceful. The manner on how he obviously had that manager of the month award picture in his Stoke training kit. It was very disrespectful. Trust me, I will never forget what he did. However, Nathan has come out today in the media that he is sorry and he does regret on how things like obviously turned out and he wants to make up for it. And to be fair, if he means it and he like obviously shows that he does mean it, then I'm happily willing to give him a second chance. I believe that everyone deserves a second chance, especially in football. Everyone deserves another opportunity to prove themselves again. And I believe we need to give that to Nathan. On the club's website where they announced Nathan Jones, it mentioned how the owners have spoken to Nathan Jones. They spoke about their differences, which they had with him, and they've talked it through. And... They urge all supporters to back him and support him. And I think we should. And I think that was very important to see from the owners that they understand what he did wrong. They spoke about it and they believe that he's still the right man for the job. Now, if our owners could give him a second chance, I believe we should give him a second chance as well. Don't get me wrong. What he did was wrong. 100% it was wrong, but he's back now and I believe we all need to give him a second chance We've got nine important games. We've got nine cup finals We need to get as many points as possible. You have to think about it Look at all the managers out there. If a new man comes in, he won't know the players He have to bring in his own players in his own staff things will take time to gel Would we hit the ground running with a new manager if a new manager came in would he guarantee results straight away? I don't think so but Nathan, he knows the players. Obviously, Jack Stacey and Justin have gone. But he knows majority of these players. Majority of these players actually went to his like, wedding recently. So he still has close connections to the players. He knows the staff at the club. Obviously, we did bring in a lot of new staff to the club. But that was just to improve like the club itself. He still knows McCarford. He still knows the owners. He still knows the club. He knows what the club's all about. He knows the fans. And he knows himself he needs to regain the trust of the supporters. If you think about the situation we are in, Nathan Jones is probably the best person to take charge of the club, especially during these like difficult times. Nathan Jones needs to prove himself again. He needs to prove to the supporters that what he did was wrong and he needs to regain our trust. And what a great way of doing it by keeping us up in the championship. I guarantee you, if Nathan Jones keeps us up this season, a lot of fans will change their mind about him. You've got to remember, like the style of football we were playing under Nathan Jones before he left. We were scoring goals for fun, entertaining football. 
all that went when Graham Jones came in. You know, it was a completely different side. It was a different team. But Nathan Jones has an opportunity to bring that all back. It's definitely not going to be easy. And I'm really happy to see that Nathan has come out and said he is sorry. He does regret the way he left the club. And he does want to regain the trust from the fans. For me, that takes a lot for someone to say, especially in the media. So we need to back him. We've got nine cup finals. We've got to support Nathan, the players, the owners, everything. We've got to support everything the club do. I just quickly checked like the response like from fans on the social media. It's currently 50-50 and that's understandable. But I also found this tweet. Now this tweet mentions that Nathan Jones regrets, obviously, for wearing his Stoke training tracksuit during that photo. And as you can see at the bottom, he apologizes for that. All I can say is at least he's apologized. Now it's taken over a year for us to hear that, but at least it's finally happened. So overall guys, we need to back Nathan. I know it's 50-50 at the moment, but we need to support him. I do reckon he can keep us up. I think he's the right man for the job. And I think we all as fans need to give him a second opportunity. Just remember the football we were playing under him. We were playing attacking football, you know, and with Nathan Jones obviously back at the club, will Steve Rutter come back as assistant manager in the future? Sorry if the audio sounds funny, guys. I just realised after I finished recording that I forgot to mention something which was quite important to the conversation about Nathan Jones. I'm fully aware if he does well at Luton that he could obviously jump ship again like he did before. I'm fully aware of that, that he will probably go to another club if he does well but hopefully he's learned his lesson and maybe he'll think twice about doing that and someone did mention on social media about eddie howe eddie howe left bournemouth he left to go to burnley didn't work out for him went back to bournemouth and obviously the rest is history and he's managing in the premier league with bournemouth so that could happen with nathan who knows the man is sorry and that is good enough for me and hopefully things turn out well for us in the future if we get relegated to league one at least nathan understands league one itself if he is the manager of league one of obviously that long-term contract which i mentioned at the start of the video if that is true then he will be the manager while we are in league one at least he knows the league and hopefully we'll be able to bring us back to the championship if that is the case but the first thing he needs to do is keep us up nine cup finals can we do it drop a like on the video guys if you did enjoy my thoughts about nathan jones coming back to the club like i said can we hit 70 likes on this video drop a comment down below your thoughts on nathan jones coming back to the club let me know if you're happy with the decision if you're not explain why subscribe to the channel if you are new don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already guys and i'll see you guys in the next video